Roswell flight test crew here at Drone Expo in Los Angeles, California. And look who we ran into walking the aisles. It's none other than Rich Hansen from the Academy of Model Aeronautics. How you doing, Rich? Absolutely. How you doing, man? <laughs> good, good. So um, I understand you were just in Albuquerque and saw Jim Williams from the um, FAA. What's happening with the Notice of Proposed Rulemaking? Well, that was a little bit of a talk at the, um, the ASTM meeting that occurred uh, this past Monday. And then the TAC conference, it was a two-day conference, Tuesday, Wednesday, hosted by the uh, University of New Mexico. And as far as the NPRM, it looks like it's pretty close to coming out. Uh, for the first time uh, since the inception back in 2009, it's actually gone to the Office of Management and Budget, which is the last stop before an, a no proposed rulemaking goes public. So it went to uh, OMB in October. They're allowed up to 90 days, but there's some hope that it might come out even sooner than the 90 days. So we could be looking at a proposed rule for small UAS uh, either by the end of this year or the first of the next. All right, and what should um, members of the AMA and others in the enthusiast hobbyist community be looking for from this proposed rule? Well, it's a very, very pivotal rule. I mean, this is going to set the stage for enabling uh, UAS to operate from recreational, commercial, and public uh, for years to come. I mean, it actually is the benchmark regulation for it. So I think everybody really needs to take a real close look at it, look at what your activity is within this industry and how this rule might have impacted, and make some meaningful, thoughtful comments as to what you think about the rule and what maybe they can do to make it better. All right, very good, very good. Now, of course, we're in Southern California right now, but we're going to be back in this neighborhood in, gosh, less than a month at this point, and that's for um, AMA Expo. How's that shaping up for this year? Oh, it's going to be a great event this year. Um, a lot of activity going on. We've got some great speakers coming in. You guys will be there. Yep. Um, you know, that's set for the, the second weekend in January, the 9th, 10th, and 11th in Ontario, California. So uh, come on down, there'll be a lots of uh, UAS and drone activity there as well as traditional model aircraft, so it should be fun. Fantastic, fantastic. And I just want to say while I've got you here, thank you so much for the AMA stepping up to support our Drone for the Holidays initiative. We really appreciate you guys supporting us on that. Well, I think it's a, it's a great initiative and it, it certainly is the right time and the right approach to getting people to understand this technology and learn how to fly it safely and responsibly. And speaking of flying safely and responsibly, uh, there'll be a big announcement at Expo about a joint program we're doing with the Association for Unmanned Systems International uh, is in, the, in terms of helping people know how they can uh, fly these aircraft safely and responsibly. Well, we will be looking forward to that. Rich, thank you so much for taking your time. Patrick, absolutely. You guys have fun here. I'm sure we will. <laughs> All right, from the Drone Expo Los Angeles, California, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.